What's up everybody, and welcome to the Hydraulic Engineering Tutorial YouTube channel. Today, we show experiment number 21. To verify experimentally the theoretical relationship between the conjugate depths of a hydraulic jump and to determine the various elements. Apparatus 1. A glass-walled rectangular channel of sufficient length equipped with head and tail gates. 2 a pointer gauge which can be moved along the length of the channel on top rails provided on the side walls. Third, a regulated water supply with a discharge measurement unit, i.e. orifice meter or venturometer, in the supply line. Theory, in an open channel when rapidly flowing stream abruptly changes to slowly flowing stream, a distinct rise or jump in the elevation of liquid surface takes place, this phenomenon is known as hydraulic jump, which is analogous to shock wave in compressible fluids. The hydraulic jump converts kinetic energy of stream rapidly flowing into potential energy. Due to this, there is a loss of kinetic energy. At the place where hydraulic jump occurs, rollers of turbulent water, eddying turbulences, form, which cause dissipation of energy. A hydraulic jump occurs in practice at the toe of spillways or below a sluice gate where the velocity is very high. The hydraulic jump is also known as a standing wave because it is, in essence, a wave which is stationary, i.e., at standstill, at one place. Procedure 1. Take pointer gauge reading corresponding to the bed level of the channel, Y0. 2. Open the supply valves fully and allow the water to flow in the channel. Allow the flow to stabilize and measure the discharge Q actual with the help of orifice meter. 3. Adjust the depth of flow with the help of head gate such that it is less than the critical depth, i.e., far 1 greater than 1. 4. Adjust the height of the tail gate to set up a hydraulic jump approximately midway along the channel. 5. Let the jump stabilize and take the pointer readings corresponding to the water surface just upstream, Y1 prime, and downstream, Y2 prime of the jump. Sixth, measure the length of the jump, LJ. Seven, repeat steps three to six for different values of far one, always keeping it greater than one by adjusting the opening of the head gate. Precautions. One, pointer gauge readings must be taken only after the jump stabilizes. Two, pointer gauge readings upstream and downstream of the jump should be taken at the sections where the water surface is tranquil. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more hydraulic engineering content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.